strike detonator head. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler not trip. Repeat. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler not trip. Right. You type mountain. Security pick. Now we're moving security. Mister, who are you talking to? Friends of mine, Danny. Telling them what I'm doing. And if I do anything silly, they can tell the next man where I went wrong. Why can't you tell him yourself? Quiet again, Danny. Two of them out. We're moving pin. Pin removed. Detonator hasn't come away. This is the ticket of it. Removing detonator. Detonator removed. Okay, Sergeant. All over? All over. Operation successful. Face and die. Oh. <laughs> well, Sergeant, good work, sir. Yes, well, you try. Here's the captain now. From the war office, sir. Very urgent. Give me my coat. Yes, sir. Sorry, Sergeant. You'll have to carry on. The brass has to want me for some reason or other. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Now, I'm Perry. This is General Webb. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Have a cigarette. Thank you. Well, Stevenson, before we begin, just let's know if we've got this right. Your father was Colonel Lawrence Stevenson. That's right, killed in 1916 in the war. Yes, before that, as a civilian, he was consulting chemist to the oil refineries in Plotsky, in Romania. You grew up there. You were born there. Yes, and I came to England to school when I was 15. After you left school, you spent two years in Germany. The uh, Berlin University. Chemical engineering. Yes. Uh, well, now, don't think about time that we... Uh... You told Captain Stevenson why we asked him to come and see us? Yes. Well, Stevenson, the fact is, the Nazis are making poison gas on a huge scale in a new factory. In Czechoslovakia, somewhere near Pilsen. We've reason to believe they're using a new formula, fog gas. Now, we want to know exactly what they're making and stop them making it. In other words, we want someone to get hold of the formula, then blow the whole place to blazes before they get a chance to distribute the stuff, which might be at any moment. You speak German fluently, and Romanian like a native. Yes. You're a chemical expert, and as things are at the moment, you could get in through Romania. I'm afraid all I know about spies and picked up from one or two rather second-class novels. This is the sabotage job. And a pretty long shot, whatever way you look at it. No one would blame you if you don't think you're up to it. When would you want me to start, sir? Tonight.
Believe me, madame, with me you have nothing to fear. I am this treachery itself. Our love will be like a secret symphony. I am not as others, begging for garters, locks of hair, no, no. Just give me some simple little thing with nothing personal about it at all. You know, gold cigarette case, cuffling, felt stud, Rolls Royce. You know, just some simple little thing. How's that? How am I doing? Grand. Romanian iron guards are the right. An officer, but not a gentleman. How well I know them. You see, here in Romania, you've made a very good living. Thank you very much. We'll hear some more about yourself. Yan Tartu. Mm. Enterprising chap, aren't I? By the way, what happened to the real Tartu? He met with a fatal accident. Mm. You fellas have been busy. Here are Yan Tartu's papers. The membership card of the Romanian Iron Guard. Until you cross the border into Hungary, this passport describes you as a Greek merchant, Pateris, a mythical character. Am I all right as a Greek merchant? Well, you will be when you get your overcoat on. You don't worry, you're all right until you cross into Hungary, everything's fixed for you. But once you cross the border into Hungary, you must destroy that Greek passport. Then present yourself to the German consulate Seged. Seged? Tell him Miller, Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller. Now, you must get your visa to take a Slovakia from him. We'll be standing by tomorrow night as arranged. And then since you get on, well, uh, it can't be much use to you. I'm struggling along on my own, eh? Yes. Mm. It's going to be too easy. Oh. One last memory test. I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. The whole thing is one big chance. Now, when you finally get to Pilton, the man you contact is... Peter Van Eck, a shoemaker. His address? 38 Reichstrasse. Good. Now, remember, he's our... Uh, only the main in contact to check underground, so you realize it's important. Quite. Sit 
Well, then we just jump legation for Dr. Muller, consul speaking. You know Colonel Van Vetter well? Oh, but of course, of course. Like a brother, all these months we worked together, hand in glove, shoulder to shoulder. Do you really think that is necessary? I do, most necessary. Sorry for you? No, no, not the least. I'm only worried that you should go to so much unnecessary trouble on my behalf. Don't you worry about that. Where do you intend to go from here? Well, Van Vetter thought I could be of use in one of the munition or chemical plants in Pinky. He thought I could be of great use. They need skilled men. I am a skilled man. I'm a skilled chemist. My only way is to serve this Fuhrer. Heil Hitler. Von Wetter thought you could give me a Czechoslovakian visa and recommend me to the authorities in... Yes, he said that here. Hello. Is that Colonel Von Wetter? This is Heinrich Müller, Consul Siget, Hungary. Yes, Siget. What? I can't hear you clearly. Well, oh, I'm sorry, Colonel, to get you out of bed, but this seems important. Yes, I have a man here, an escaped iron goddess, Yan Taktu. Did you give him a letter to deliver to me? Yes. He's here now. Oh. Then you did give him a letter. Oh, I'm sorry, Colonel, yes, perhaps I should have rung you in the morning, but... It seems so important. Are you sure you can lie? I'm very sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, Colonel. I, I'm very sorry, Colonel. Do everything you can for him. Good. He's convinced. Great. He sounded like Dr. Goebbels with a bilious attack. Well, let's wind up and get out of here, my dear. Hi, Hitler. Can you repair this piece while I wait? Uh, I hope so. If you will bear with the efforts of an old man. Old man? Oh, oh, no women folk about in your old age. No family. Mm -hmm. Well, I too wander lonely as a cloud. It floats mm -hmm. on high or veils and hidden. When all at once I thought, crowd. A host of golden daffodils. You're alone here. Where are you from? Lakefield, Bucharest. And you wish you the new gas plant. I shall need help from the underground. Nice. Uh, this this uh, shoe is splitting here. You repair it. This is big what you do. I hit that. I hit that. Check the pig. In the name of the right, I arrest you. He what for? Treason. What are you doing? Your papers. Captain Yen talked to Iron Guard of Romania. So, what are you doing here? I've only just arrived in Wilson. I needed a shoemaker. You did, eh? Well, at least I shall never have to touch the feet of any more like you. Take him out. What's wrong with you? Well, one has to admit they have a certain rat like courage. You will be drained from him till the last drop. Good. I see you have not yet registered. Go to police headquarters immediately. Certainly, sir. I hit that. I hit that. Permit for work. Permit for food. Permit for clothing. Police identity card. It is an offense to lose them. Order date. A room in the Panacek house. You will report to Inspector Hogel, who also lives there. Inspector. A foreman at the Skoda Works? Correct. But that is ridiculous. Ridiculous? What do you mean? I am not an ordinary munition worker. Dr. Miller's letter tells you that. And I tell you, all my life I've worked at chemistry. It is not much, I ask, not much. To serve the Fuhrer in the best way I can, that is only common sense, that is only reasonable. I am an expert, but an expert only at chemistry. You will work where you're told. That is party orders. I have only one wish, to serve the Fuhrer. And Hitler. And Hitler. Don't worry, Tadio. 
You'll have an easy time working with the chicks. Every now and then, some of them try and interfere with production. Keep your eyes open, and you will be well rewarded. I can promise you that. That's all. Thank you. Yes, I will keep my eyes open. Yes, I can promise you that. Sound your horn. So important. Hmm? General von Reinsen, commandant of this area. Oh, oh. I did not hit that. Yes, it's Captain Tartu. He is billeted here. He has no more room. He will occupy your room. You will move into the kitchen. And make quick about it. Now, tell Inspector Vogel you're here, sir. Do not bother to remove your things. I will take the kitchen. Oh, but the soldier order. The soldier. I will take the responsibility. That is very kind of not at all. If your room suited me, I should take it. Oh, yes. But it has no private entrance, and likewise no private exit. That's the kitchen. There is a back door. Hmm? Well, I am... Though I need hardly tell you, you've only to look at me. I am a man for the ladies, or rather, the ladies are for me. And with a lady, a back door, she comes, she goes. And in the whole wide world, nobody knows. Very helpful, very encouraging. You understand. <laughs> No, perhaps you have forgotten. Our patient general, or perhaps impatient, is waiting for someone who lives here. Marushka Lanova. Her room is upstairs. A woman? Is she beautiful? The German officer. A countrywoman of yours. A Czech. She has found it convenient to forget it. I'll take her to the kitchen. Captain Tartu. I did laugh. I did laugh. They called me from headquarters. I'm to take you to the school of it. I make your service. And I at your. Anna! Anna! Anna Karasek! What have you got to say to yourself? Why, I don't know what you mean. Don't stand there snapping your tongue about onto me. Why haven't these boots been saddle soaked? Don't tell me you can't get any. I might very easily have some wrong out of your hide. Marushka, wonderful. You're just as beautiful when you're angry as when you're pleased. Thank you, Arthur. How charming. Pardon, Captain Yan Tartu of the Romanian Iron Guard. The inspector omitted to introduce me. I can well understand. His attention was elsewhere. But I would go further than me. For me, your anger is not only beautiful, it is a burning flame. In itself, a fitting symbol of the new order. Really, Captain, your words are as fantastic as your clothes. Marushka, you're having coffee with me this afternoon? I'm sorry, Arthur. Well, what about dinner, then, tonight? There's a new orchestra at the casino. My time is not entirely my own. Will you ask me again? Of course. Will you, Otto? Of course. Take you to the works. Are you ready? Perfect. Fantastic. What? What she said about my clothes. Fantastic. <laughs> so perhaps in this country they will seem a little strange. What do you think? For me, I must always be well dressed. You know, just a simple little suit. You think I should wear something else? At the works, you will get a uniform. Good. I'm always at my best in a uniform. Good. I'm ready.
operate on a 12-hour shift. I need tell you that you must exact the maximum efficiency. There's the born laggard. The look it. What is happening? Somebody's been detected as sabotage. I see. Where do you get it? Who made it? You realize what this means for you? Of course. If you have any accomplices here, whose names you might care to tell, things might go easier for you. Fell on this line before resuming production. Yes, sir. How will you deal with her? She'll be shot immediately. It's all right. A favorite? Hmm? She lives at the house. The daughter of the Palatine woman. Attractive? Oh yes, very. But not to be compared with the other. There is something about a beautiful woman in a riding habit. Captain, hmm? I think it would be a good thing for all concerned if I gave you some advice. Agree. There is a rule, a strict rule, that party members should not fraternize with Czech women. No. Then this morning, the commandant, he breaks the rule. You force me to be blunt. My dear Fogel, I don't force you. You are blunt. Ivos Maruska. You mean the commandant might be annoyed? Or perhaps the inspector? <laughs> well, inspector, at least there's one less left to argue about. <laughs> Ah, you need to try to look forward. Sorry, I missed mother. We're going to help you in a minute. Are the others going now? Why, only my daughter. Marushka Lanova has not yet returned. How long has your daughter been in? I don't know. I, I... May I be of assistance? Captain Jan Tartu, Romanian Iron Guard, now foreman of the Skoda Works. What has happened? A German officer has been killed nearby in the Kesselplatz a few minutes ago. Murdered? By some woman. She was seen running away. Escaped? So far. I ask you, how long has your daughter been in? I don't know. I, I... Ah, but I know. I will bring her down. I 
Yes, I've just heard about it. What have you? You checked see the thing you can do it July. But still show you. Yes, yes. You don't stay with a woman. Don't think you can hide anything from me, my girl. No. I tell you that it's impossible. I can't search your home. I'll show you if I can't search your home. You chicks have got to be forced to cooperate. An officer of the Reich has been murdered. And if you have a gun here, I... Never mind, Romanian. I'll handle this. How long have you been in the house? About half an hour. That's right. I saw her. But she came in through the back door. I often come in by the kitchen. Are you sure she came in half an hour ago? I'm certain of it. And now that I remember, Major, she had a funny look on her face. I congratulate you, Captain. Your powers of discernment are remarkable. But your memory is faulty. Didn't you hear us say that this murder took place less than 15 minutes ago? Yes. What? Are you sure? Captain Sartu will never be a candidate for our military intelligence. <laughs> All the same, don't you ever dare tell a member of the party that he can't search your room. I suggest you spend your first evening studying what's contained in those party program, behavior, Future aim. Always interpreted by the Fuhrer himself. It will be an inspiration. If anyone calls, I've gone to the council meeting at the Bauhaus. Yes, Heil Hitler, Heil Hitler. I think our Fuhrer must use as many pencils as he does men. <laughs> you saved my life. I cannot understand why. Don't let it reason. I shall always owe you mine. In times like these, you never know who your friends are. Who are you? I'm here on a mission. I've come a long way, and that's all I can tell you. That is so important. After what you have done. Pablo, you can help me. You must know how the Czechs are brave and loyal as you are. I must contact the underground, understand? The underground? Yes. I can't tell you how they're doing it. Every hour counts. Tonight, you can. I don't know. I'll see what I can do. You see? Oh, so you're home for once. Come upstairs and take my boots off. This Marusha, tell me something about her. She boards here. She seems a girl of means, of education. Her father owned a big textile factory. My husband worked for him. Is her father alive? He and my husband are both dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But this intimacy with high-ranking German officers is rather a strange transfer of affection, isn't it? Some women are loyal only to their own greed, Captain. Yes, yes, I will. Papa, listen. I can't talk now. She wants to see you. Marushka? Yes, up in the room. Now? Yes. Command performance, eh? Well, well, what can one lose? Come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, Captain Tartu. Never have I climbed stairs with greater anticipation. I see you're incorrigible. Have a cigarette and give me one, will you? Please. Captain. Oh. I detest being forced into apologies, but 
It seems I owe you one. I can hardly believe my ears. Not only beautiful, but unexpected. A woman of surprises. It is too much, too much. Well, General von Reinsen, the commandant. Hmm? I know. He was telling me of the work of your iron guard in Romania. Very clever. And very courageous. I don't think he warranted my rudeness, so hereby I apologize. And hereby I accept your apology. And what is more, I too can be generous. There was, I admit it, something in what you said. You are a woman of taste. No, just bad temper will fall down. No, no, a woman of taste. You like me better as I am now, yes? Infinitely. Ah, but I see a doubt in this giving me a shadow in those eyes. I know, the pomade, yes. Never again do I soil myself with the pomade. From now on, it is an offense. Never shall it be said that Captain Tartu relied on the hair oil. No. You shall see me as I am. Almost. Almost. Why not quite? Who well, no, knows? It is quite a We shall see. What on earth is that? Your dinner. Dinner? What in milk and dried up cheese? Where's that deal, Pat? The butcher had no real thing to do. More wine excuses. Get it out of here before I'm sick. What a way to live. Well, seems I shall have to go elsewhere for my dinner. Will you give me the pleasure of taking you? Why, yes. In fact, I rather hoped you'd ask me. Can I have half an hour to get dressed? Nothing could be better, for in that half hour, I too have most important business. They won't ask what? I have to remove the pomade. Hide it, love. Sorry. Why? I feel in the mood for talk, for real talk, an exchange of confidences, of hopes and fears. This helps. But you've done a lot of talking. You told me the life story of Jan Tartu. What do you think of it? If I tell you the truth? Please. I don't know what to think. It was very highly colored, but men will do desperate things out of love for their country. Or for their faith in the new order. Why, yes, of course. Or for their love of freedom. No, Captain Tartu. Without the pomade, there is something very different about you. Away from Fogel and the Commandant, I would say the same about you. My family have lost everything and own much. I want to get it back. That's why I risk my reputation with our German visitors. You risk something of your reputation as a good Nazi and your little plot with Tata. Huh? Hmm. There was a whole pot full of veal paprika in the kitchen, and you knew it. And Pavla knew you knew it. I'm not such a fool as, as Captain Tartoon sometimes appears. You may take me into the moonlight. Everything she knew. Who are you? Not yet. You know Peter Valek, the shoemaker? There are many shoemakers. He was my only contact. You know, you're taking a big chance on me. I'm taking a chance on what's behind your eyes. Look at me. Will you do the same with me? My country is being tortured to death. If I were to do anything to increase that suffering... I'm here to help. You must believe that. You want me to put you in touch with the underground? As soon as possible. Tomorrow. When you return from the work. No. Couldn't you sleep? I 
couldn't get back sooner. That fool Otto turned up. I shouldn't have done what I did today. Put all of you in danger. No, darling. It's been over three months since that beast ordered Carl and the others to be executed. I shouldn't have let him live that long. I know, darling. But Carl got his revenge today. Because I had Carl's own revolver. And he fell right in the gutter. Right on his face in the filth. I failed, but others will carry on. Keep her here. Captain, the guard is certain that this tattoo here saw the girl pick up. The door it is open. May we have it thrown? Shut it. Thank you. Yes, it was Pavla Palacek. She had that bag in her hand. More steel filing to burn out more motors. Yes. Why didn't you say so out there? But less tenant isn't it off. Yes. Captain, surely you understand. But it is so plain. Already I have made friends among the ships. They begin to trust me. The work that I was sent here to do, it will go on. But these checks, whatever to suspect, that it was their new friend, Captain Tartu, who gave this girl away. Well, surely now, Captain... A man of your intelligence must see. Yes, of course. Quite right. Good work, Captain. This won't be made public, I hope. Of course not. What do you take me for? Start your machine again. Have the girl shot. Yes, sir. Or oh, tattoo. This. You seem very quick winded for a Romanian. Oh, well, as I told him when I first came here, but not all are as quick as you, even in the party. I am not an ordinary munition worker. No, no. I'm a graduate chemist. Is that so? Chemist, sir? Yes. 
Well, I will see what can be done. That is all. Thank you, sir. a wink all night. But don't tell me I have to wait, because I made an appointment early this morning. Dr. Novotny will see you now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, doctor. Come in. Please, sit down. Well, Maroshka, I understand you spent yesterday with the commandant again. Anything to tell us? Nothing yet. Every time I brought up the subject of the new aerodrome, he avoided it, very obviously. Then why call the meeting? I wanted to speak to the council because I feel I have something much more important. It concerns a man named Tartu, young Tartu. Tartu? Well, then you know him. We know he's living in the Palachik house. Yes. And he's a friend, Dr. Navarne. Yesterday, when they came to see Pavla, he hit the gun, saved her life. She's on a very important mission. She wants to contact the underground. You didn't tell him about us? Oh, no, naturally not. I only obey orders. But I want permission to bring him here. What makes you so sure of him, Marushka? Well, I told you. He saved Pavla's life. Oh, yes. He mentioned Peter Valek. And then, well, seeing so much of the other kind, I'm not entirely insensible to honesty and sincerity when I do meet it. Did you know Peter Valek was executed yesterday? No. When did you last see Pavla Valek? This morning? This afternoon, she was shot. I can do anything I like with him. Very useful, that. 
virtue of necessity. You can trust me absolutely to eliminate Captain Tartu. Take your knife. No. Novotny just told us. For every knife to kill, 200 checks will die. I would give myself up, but it wouldn't do any good, darling. This race of stupid men doesn't feel safe unless it's 200 to 1. Now, Mr. Templeton, run away. Novotny asked me how I was going to do it. I said I didn't know. I didn't then. Do now. If he were to be done away with by one of his own kind. One sneaking coward destroys another, Anna, and nobody the wiser. Uh, uh, the girl can change her mind, huh? huh? Your hat is pretty, but you might like to take it off, huh? <laughs> well, let me get my breath. Huh? And have a look round. This is a very restful room, Arthur. Snaps, sent from home. Mm. I bet this didn't come from home. That? Oh, that came from the finest art collection at Pilsen. Borrowed for the duration. Yes, of my life. Marushka, to your being here in my room. To the success of my being here. Marushka. I said to the success of my being here, Otto. Otto, I need your help. I need it badly. And I know you're one I can trust. Always, Mushka. In any way. You know I want to get back with my family own after the war. I know, darling, but that's something I have. And I know you have a party career in mind. Obviously, a man of your ability doesn't expect to remain a mere inspector. Oh, I've, I've planned the head that will put We me... might realize both our ambitions, Otto. If you'll help me with a certain individual by the name of Jan Tartu. Tartu? What's he... I think he's a spy. What? I'm sure of it. You know, I detect the insolent fool, Marushka. But you must be careful. He's of the Romanian Iron Guard. The party still needs their help. He came with credentials. Oh, God. I doubt he even comes from Romania. No? What makes you think that? I don't know. There's an underground group here of some sort working against the Reich, isn't there? Yes, yes, go on. Well, last night at the casino, he hinted he was trying to contact them to get their help. Help? For what? Otto, when a man wants the help of an underground movement, he can't be for the good of the Reich. Oh, yes, I... Now, I didn't say anything last night to you. That was why I was so easy with him. I wanted to see if he'd mentioned to me again this morning. Well, did he? Just as I was coming out of my room, he suggested that this girl in the house, this... this traveler... Oh, yes. I understand she was shot today. Sabotage where she works or something. Yes, yes, but never mind about her. All right. He practically said he knew I was her friend and that we could do something for him with the underground or whatever it is they call themselves. Oh. Oh, this is serious. Oh. 
Well, we can easily prove to Bob him. How? Call the Gestapo and tell them to check up on him. No, no, Otto. Huh? Not when we can get all the credit ourselves. <laughs> How? But oh, my darling, it's so simple. You can use this, can't you? Yes, but I've got to be sure. All it needs is some little music. Such as in the garden last night, only you're behind a hedge to hear for yourself. Then what? I scream, you shoot, you and I are both there to testify. An enemy of the Reich lies there, uh, I see. I get what I want, and maybe they'll make you a general or something. Very clever, Maruska. When can you meet him again? Tonight. Where? At the cafe where we were last night. I'll be there. There may be people around. Oh, for the good. More convincing. You know the alcove on the terrace? Yes. Take him there. I'll make arrangements. I'll be able to hear everything he says. Mm. Darling, you're a genius. Uh. And Otto. Huh? You know what else might happen for us? If we're successful? What? Next time I come in this room, I might even take off my hat. Who banging again, eh? Huh. I'm sorry to be late, but it's been a hard day. Pavla, I spoke to him. Yes. Are you there? Yes. She looked at me when they led her away. I'll never forget that look, never. I know, I know how close she was to you. What is your real name? I can't tell you now. Later I will. And I've other things to tell you, things that can't be told until my job's done. Have you anything useful? You see, well, I didn't tell you last night, but I'm not a member of this underground group myself. Frankly, I don't think they're ready to trust me yet. Huh? But I was sure Pavla was. And I thought through Pavla I could... But now... Do you know anyone else? I have to be very careful. Oh, I realize that. But it's more important than ever now. Things are coming to a head. I'm being transferred to the new gas laboratory tomorrow. I'm sorry, darling. But I work as fast as I can. You know that, don't you? Of course. So just let's enjoy being together. Yes. Would you like to sit? Over there? Shall we? you're doing to get rid of him. I want to hear. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it from you. All officers, report to me. Trouble, I'm afraid. Don't worry. I'm uncertain that corrupted tech elements of the local population. All tech will be examined for their passes. Other papers and concealed weapons on the word of command. 
All checks will collect in the center of the floor. Attention! Check! Mark! Captain. Where is our gas plant? It's built inside the hill. Walk through the farm halls and you'll find it.
I trust you know your business, my friend. We are running an emergency schedule here. I'm quite confident, sir. You have worked with the metal encounter, right? Oh, yes. Both for two and for three, the Hylocyte and the Professor Brun at Munich. Good. This way. You will find we are making an amazing gas here, Tartu. Start by learning the formula thoroughly. I didn't see any bomb casings out there, Dr. Willendorf. Are they filled on another level? No. We ship the gas to the various forms in two separate liquid forms. There the liquids are compounded, and the bomb case is charged just prior to operation. But get that set in your head as quickly as possible. You to come one hour earlier in the morning, please. Certainly. All day tomorrow we shall be running final tests, and I shall need your assistance. Final tests? You're not ready with your first shipment, are you? Two weeks ahead of time. Tomorrow night we will be loading it onto the truck. And soon, on some beautifully clouded evening, it will be unloaded on England. I'll hit the Where do they go? Do you know? No. Is there no way at all that I can contact her? No. Can't you get a message through to her? No. Look here, I've got to do something tonight. Take any chance. Can't you help? I can get you some supper. you're going to rise up and throw it out, eh? Oh. Well, who's going to lead you? Tell me that. <laughs> Some of those amateur heroes of yours that you've got hidden away in that underground army. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, don't talk. But they are not going to lead you, I can tell you that. Why? Because they won't be able to rise out of the grave. That's why. I know six of the rats were going to be smoked out by the end of the week. Six. The Gestapo's got their names and everything. Do you know why I know? Because I happen to be. <laughs> well, maybe I'm talking to them. Oh. Hey, you. Now, Randy, quick. Come in, sir. Yes. 
Plenty of things I can tell you. Plenty of things. You must be pretty good at ice hockey. But if you're the people I think you are, it was worth it. Tonight you said you knew several names of checks on the Gestapo's list. Yes. We want to know who they are. Believe me, I don't know them. I only talk like that in the last hope of making contact with the underground. And I think I have. Haven't I? Supposing you have. I'm a British secret agent, gentlemen. I need your help desperately. We need more proof than merely your word for it. But that's all I can give. No, Peter Valley. He was about to put me in touch with you when they caught him. My job is a very big one. I'm here to wreck their new gas plant. I'm working there now, but I must have help. Chemicals, a place to make pocket bombs, men to help make them. Tonight, now, they're shipping the first batch of gas tomorrow. You must believe me. Do you think I'd be mad enough to take this chance if the situation wasn't of the great... One moment. You informed on the parachute. Why? I had to. They knew I'd seen her do it. And she knew they'd seen me. If you ever erect a monument to check patriotism, that girl's name should be carved in letters as high... Grant you that. What is your real name? Captain Seren Stevenson, Royal Engineers, now detached for special work of military intelligence. Break this, swine! Oh, that's there. The Gestapo, I take it. Correct. It's not a nice sensation for a man to realize he's bungled his job. But I assure you. Your little display at the bar was slightly obvious. Evidently. Well. What now? Hmm. We do these things quickly. No formalities. Just one shot at the base of the neck. Well, do we carry on? Say over to get things ready. If you care to write a message to your family or anything, over there. Very kind of you. We'll go through the decoding office. So don't try any tricks. Having a difficult time. Huh? Isn't it easy? First time I've written this kind of letter. Once is enough. Just a moment, ladies. Dear Terry, I'm sorry I have messed things up. Please let my mother know. I'm sure you will be tactful. Give her my dear love. To you and all friends, all the best. Sorry to miss the victory. Binge. 
yours, Terence Stephen. That's it. I suppose you realize this is all quite futile. You can do your work with me, but you can have to do it for the next and the next. And no matter how long it takes, the whole civilized world will keep on coming at you. Coming at you and coming again. You know that? Why? You wait, Nestor. You made a brilliant effort to complex the underground. Congratulations. You have Captain Stevenson. At your service, sir. Right, you. I'm Dr. Novotny. I have the honor to be chairman of our council. By Jove! It's a second time, I see that. I'm sorry we had to be so strenuous, but you can understand, I'm sure. Uh, certainly was a convincing performance. <laughs> Look here, have you got anything besides beer here? <laughs> Peter, some wine for all of us. Oh, Doctor, we mustn't waste the session. I can't think how to take it. Yes, sir. I shall need all the help we can get in at once. A place to work. Watch mechanism for timing. Yes, device. I know. Get to Urban. I left my office or his house. All the help we can give you, you shall have. We have our own laboratory here on the cellar. Crude as it is. Splendid. We we'll manage. Beautiful work. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. The most compact container of lethal power I've ever seen. Oh, we learned something, eh? Yeah. Is there enough explosive in there to blow up the entire plant? Yeah, properly placed, there's enough nitro seen in these to wipe out two entire blocks. The only thing I can understand is why they sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say you had to report an hour earlier today? Yes. It is nearly seven o'clock. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, time table works out perfectly. These are set to go off at exactly 12.15. That gives me just 15 minutes after noon lay off to drop them in and clear out. And Nesta here will be in the car by the South Field. From 12 o'clock on. And I have the door open. Good. If you don't, you'll have to expect the passenger through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Lieutenant. I shall have to hurry. I'm late. Well, Tato? I've been waiting. Have you any news for me? Oh, plenty. See you in the lunch hour. Same old sabotage. Tonight, we use this together. Aha! Ah, Marushka! Marushka, come, come, come in here. So serious, Father? Serious? Wait till I have the full call and we'll see. Hello? Inspector Fogel speaking, Division A2. Get me Colonel von Vetter, Drum Legation Bucharest. Yes, that's it. What is this little drama all about? When I got to headquarters this morning, I heard that part two is now working at the new gas factory. Yes, it is meant to. You know he didn't come home last night? No, I didn't. Oh, this is all too dangerous. He can't wait now. If anything happened, and it was found out that you and I were suspicious and hadn't reported him, why? Well, why does he call to Bucharest? I inquired about his credentials at headquarters. He came with a letter from the consulate Seget and was supposed to have been sent to him by von Vetter in Bucharest. I'm going to that source now. You read a thing to me? Yes, Marushka. Hello? Yes? I'm waiting. Mm. Isn't it Who is it? Chance I made a mistake. Still waiting. An Inspector Fogo, in Trotum. One minute speaking. Tartu? That's impossible. Tartu has been dead over six months. Ah, then he is a spy. I thought his papers were forged. That's why I checked with you, Colonel. Yes, he'll be dealt with at once. Thank you, Colonel. Yes? Hi, Hitler. 
<laughs> you made no mistake, my darling. <laughs> you don't seem very pleased about it. Of course I'm pleased. I don't know what all the excitement about. I told you he was a spy, and now you find it out for yourself. Yes. But now he's working at the gas factory. I must have him arrested. At once. Hello? Well, if it could stop it. You talked about this doing us a bit of good? It will. I don't believe in waiting, not for a moment. Hello? Oh, hello. Huh? Don't you remember what I said when I was in Hella? <sighs> you men, you're all alike. Just at me and plan at your future. Same thing, Marushka. You are in my future. This won't take long. Don't be too sure. I'm not used to being treated like this. Your telephone call can wait. You might lose both me and your future, if you're not very careful. Oh, I won't lose either. I've never felt so strong or full of confidence before. Hello? Don't you worry about me, darling. Inspector Fogel speaking. I want the gas factory. Emergency. First time in my... How did it happen? I can't tell you now. We've got to save him. There's no need to try his hand. He is dead. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wish I had been able to. Think, Morushka. Kavla, Karl, your father. He can only die once. That is a pity. We shan't be safe here now. Go to Dr. Novotny and tell him I'll report to him as soon as possible. Tommy, an inspector was calling the gas plant, and just when he said emergency, he stopped and hung up. Did you get the number he called from? Yes, but when I called back, there was no answer. You'd better report it. Yes. Have you got a permit? No, but it's very urgent. Have you got a permit? No, but I simply must be in the... All right, better in. Well, fell I. Hello, Lieutenant. Could I possibly speak to a friend of mine? He says he works here. If he isn't lying. Well, if you give me his name, I'll see whether he is or not. Young Tatu. Tatu? Just think of the best-looking man in the place. You're not counting yourself. Oh, Tatu. He certainly wasn't lying about you, Fraulein. Was he telling the truth about your sister? Didn't he mention me? Lieutenant Cran. Oh, yes. So you're Lieutenant Cran. Of course. Oh, Lieutenant. Couldn't I speak to Yam, please? Well, it is an infraction of the rules during working hours. Oh, but you can manage it, yes? For me. All right. Well, shall we say, um, for your sister, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where? To the fence there. And don't be too long. Oh, yes. Thanks. Hey. Well, well, this is one. Hello. Yeah, you've been discovered. Folk who called on death from Bucharest. When? Just now. You've got to get out of here. They'll be coming in a minute. It's so good. Not Folk. Anything can happen. On death are calling the Gestapo, anything. Yeah, darling, you've got to be the second. I can't. Yeah. I can't. But who's going to listen carefully? Get to Dr. Navotny and tell him what's happening. All times are off. I've got to find the phone now as soon as I can to understand. It's going to be possible to get Nesta in the car along that road right away. Oh, darling, no. Is that quite clear? Oh, yes, but... Yeah, there isn't time. Go ahead, then, quickly. Oh, yeah, I can't leave you. Do as I tell you. Don't come here bothering me again. Be off now. Go on. Off you get. Lovers call, huh? You have to put them in their place now and then.
the alarm. I thought you did, Colonel. One moment. Colonel Hartman speaking. Where are you going? I have orders to see that all files are cut. Are operating tonight. Everything and warning us. How long have you got? Less than 20 minutes. Now, if we are to go as planned, we must get up there and watch our chance. The dawn is with us. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm... darling. I can't come with you. You'll always be in my heart. There's work to be done here still. Nonsense. Mark, there's nothing more you can do for us. You are a liability, in fact. So, I order you to leave the country in good hands. 
Thank you. 